Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the class once again. I hope that you are all gaining from these classes and learning something new, practicing what you are learning in class over here, practicing all the conversation that we do over here and trying to speak as much Japanese as you can. So well, today also we will do something new. We will do some new kanjis, new verb forms and lot of new vocabulary. But before that, as always, we will go over the assignments that I had given you. So, well, let us see what the assignments were. Change verb form to te kudasai and naide kudasai. Please do and please do not do. So, koko de shashin o tora naide kudasai. Kono gyunyu o non de kudasai. Koko no computer o tsukawanai de kudasai. And please, for computers, it is computer. Please try to get the correct pronunciation because it is very difficult if it is not pronounced properly, it is not understood. Atsui kara mado o akete kudasai. Oki koe de hanasanai de kudasai. Minasan, koko ni kaite kudasai. Abunai kara koko ni tatanai de kudasai. Abunai is dangerous. Tatanai de kudasai means please do not stand. It is a request to do as the verb is saying. Samui kara doa o akenai de kudasai. Please do not open. There is more practice for you. You can practice this as well. Someone is running, Tanaka san is going away in a big hurry looking at his watch. So, isogimas, isoi de kudasai. Isogu is the verb. Then, torimas, toru, totte kudasai. Norikaemas, norikaeru. Norikaete kudasai. Norikaimas means to change from one mode of transport to another mode. Then, mite kudasai, minai de kudasai, mimas, and the verb is miru. Suwanai de kudasai. Su is the verb S U. You to smoke. Sutte kudasai. And suwanai de kudasai. Sui mas in mas form. So, well, this was for you in plain form, mas form, te kudasai form, nai de kudasai form. So, you can make sentences with this, use these words and try to make sentences. Making sentences is very good because it helps you in conversation. So, do not think that making sentences is very childish. You are in class 1 and you are making sentences. No, this gradually will help you in talking in your conversation. Now, if you remember, we had done kureru and kuda saru in our previous lesson somewhere. Well, Kureru and Kuda Saru. Kureru and Kuda Saru. Gomenasai. Kuda Saru. We will practice this today over here. You can see on the slide, you can see a lot of words written Okasan, Sensei, Bucho, Tomodachi. Then you have Hon, Jisho, Fuku. 
時計、プレゼント、セーター、and くれる and くださる。So, well, we can practice right away. お母さんは私に時計をくれました。お母さん、or お父さん、or 先生、部長 Any of these は私に私に時計本小説をくれました Any combination you can make and お母さんは私にお金をくれましたお父さんは私に小説をくれました。部長は私にワインをくれました。So any of these you can use and you can make sentences. Ask your partner and answer. Over here you can see there's one more. 先生は私に地引きをくれました。先生 gave a 地引き to me and a 地引き is a reference book. There's another one. お母さんは私にお金をくれました。お母さん、give お金 to me。So when someone who's senior to you, when someone who's older to you gives something to you, then it is always くれます。Because of your position. Then we have now we'll do something new. 何をしていますか。This is something new today. You have done the te form earlier, but with kudasai. We will do with imas over here. Now, first, before we do any explanation, let us listen to this radio conversation and let me see how much you understand. Tanaka san, kochira wa Arun san desu. 私の友達です。はじめまして。よろしく。あ、よろしく。アルンさんもインドからですか。はい、そうです。今ラオさんと同じ学校で日本語を勉強しています。あ、そうですか。頑張ってください。田中さん、すみません。太郎くんがあそこからちょっと呼んでいますので、ちょっと行ってみます。あ、どうぞ。Well, how much did you understand? Tell me. I'm sure most of it, except for this new form and a couple of new words that are here, I'll read it out to you once and explain later. This is a dialogue between three people: Rao San, Arun San, and Tanaka San. Well, Tanaka San. こちらはアルンさんです。私の友達です。はじめまして。よろしく。よろしく。アルンさんもインドからですかはい、そうです。今、ラオさんと同じ学校で日本語を勉強しています。ああ、そうですか。頑張ってください。田中さん、すみません。太郎くんがあそこから呼んでいますので、ちょっと行ってみます。どうぞ。行ってください。could also be added over here. So, well, Tanaka san, こちら。This person over here is Arun san. He is my friend. And of course, the general introduction that you do, はじめまして。よろしく。Informal, thus it is よろしく over here. Otherwise, in a formal situation, よろしく。お願いします。Again, it's a Yoroshku informal. Ah, Arun san mo Indo kara desu ka? Arun san is from? From India? That's right. Hai so desu. Ima Rao san to onaji gakko de. Onaji is same, similar, same gakko de Nihongo o benkyo shite imas. I am studying. Ah, so desu ka? Gambatte kudasai. Well, work hard. 
Tanaka san sumimasen. I'm sorry. Taro kun ga asoko kara yonde imasu no de chotto itte mimasu. Taro kun. Kun is again informal for san. I think you already know. Ga asoko kara from there yonde imasu. He's calling me. So because of that, I will go and go and see. I will just go and see what is the matter. And he says, dozo, again informal, dozo itte kudasai, is very, very formal. This is in the script, you can see kanji and katakana and hiragana again and you should practice, write all this once and you will be more familiar with katakana and hiragana and kanji also. This is a general explanation what you would say in English. As you have done the te form of the verb, I do not think I need to explain te form to you anymore. We did it in detail last time, but today it is a new form. So, verb in te form plus imas. We have done verb in te form plus kuda sai. Now, this is different. This is a request. Verb in te form is same. Imas is you are doing an activity. An activity is in progress. So, continuous action is in imas form. For example, yonde imas or as we are studying over here now, benkyo shite imasu or as all of you are at the moment listening to what I am saying, ki ite kite imasu or again as I am teaching to you, as I am telling a lot of things to you. Oshiete imas. Well, I am also talking, so hana shite imas. And again, what else can you think of? Tell me. Well, there is one more. I am standing over here, so tatte. Imas. And what are you all doing? You are sitting. So, suwatte imas. So, I am sure the same imas form is quite clear now. Verb in te form plus imas. Te form we did last time. Imas is given over here. I just told you what all it is. So, well, you can say a lot of things now. You can talk more freely in Japanese now and convey a lot many things more easily. So, well, I will just read it out once. Kite imas. So, the sound is long over here. Ki ite imas. Kaete imas. Gambatte imas. Suatte imas. Hanashte imas. Tabete imas. Mite imas, oshiete imas, as I just told you, hanashte imas. For the time being, well, we will just stick to imas form only, verb in te form plus imas. Do this a little later. You can practice, look at the picture, and let us see what they are doing. So, the picture shows a man talking on phone. Nani oshite imasu ka? Denwa oshite imasu. So, please when I when I speak like this, please try to repeat after me. It will make things very easy and simple. Denwa oshite imasu. Denwa o suru. Then we have Tanaka san working somewhere. Shigoto oshite imasu. He is working. And then we have Tanaka san reading a paper. So, well, newspaper. Shimbun o yonde imasu. And as I told you in the beginning, 
Tanaka san is always going to be with us here all the time in our class. So, any of these pictures will always have Tanaka san with us. Tanaka san is sleeping. So, well, ima nete imas. What is he doing? Well, drinking. Ima kocha o nonde imas. And we have another picture here writing something. So, well, tegami o kaite imas. So, I am sure as I am speaking like this and you are practicing the te imas form, the sound of this form is now very clear to you and I am sure you will be able to use it freely now. I think there is more practice. Well, you have a lot more pictures here. So many of them, lot of people are doing, taking a photograph, taking medicine, playing, watching TV, writing a letter, reading paper. So, let us see what it is. Can you tell me? Well, the first one is Nani o shite imasu ka? That is a general question. Nani o shite imasu ka? Shashin and toru. Well, shashin o totte imasu. Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imasu. Kusuri, medicine, nomu. Kusuri o nonde imasu. Tanaka san wa kusuri o nonde imasu. And the third one is koen, asobu. Kodomo tachi wa koen de asonde imasu. Terebi, miru. Tanaka san wa uchi de terebi o mite imasu. Then we have tegami, kaku. Tegami o kaite imasu. Tanaka san wa okaasan ni tegami o kaite imasu. Then, shinbun, yomu. Shinbun o yonde imasu. Tanaka san wa shinbun o yonde imasu. So, well, you have this over here in the left column. These words are given. You have these te forms over here in column B. You can make longer sentences by adding what we have done in our previous classes instead of just having this small sentence. So, please try to do that. Now, as you can see te imas form of the verb indicates that a certain action is in progress and as the example is given you can go over the example. Now, in our previous lesson we did verb in te form plus mite kudasai. Verb in te form plus kudasai. Verb in te form plus another te form kudasai. Verb in te form plus imas. So now we've done all three. We'll try to practice verb in te form plus mite kudasai. This is in a school gakko de. Sumimasen, watashi wa kasa o wasuremashita. Doko de wasuremashita ka? Kyoushitsu ni wasuremashita. Ah, so desu ka. Chotto matte kudasai. Watashi wa kiite mimasu. Sumimasen, onegai shimasu. So well. You can forget anything anywhere. It could be a kaban, techo, that is your diary, teki, that is your pass, your daily commuters pass, railway pass or your bus pass, saifu, which is your wallet. You could forget it on the table, tsukue no ueni, in the jimushitsu, in the shokudo, Sensei no heya ni or genkan no mai ni. You could forget it anywhere. And then, denwa de kiite mimasu. 
I will just talk and see on the phone. Itte mimas, I will go and see. Shirabete mimas, I will check and see. So, well, you could replace all of these. Kasa for kabante cho saifu, skue no ueni kyoshitsu ni. Instead of that, you could have any of these over here and kite mimas, you could use any of these forms and practice te mite kudasai. Have a small conversation with your partner and practice. Now, we have been doing counters in our lessons. So, today we will do a new counter, how to count flat things. For example, things like sheets, things like folded shirts, CDs or paper, how to count any of these things. So, well at the post office, what do you do? You have stamps, stamps or envelopes. So, well those are flat things, how do you count those? So, there is a small dialogue, sumimasen, juen no kitte onegai shimasu, nan mai desu ka, juni mai desu. So, juni is the number and mai is the counter for flat things. Nan mai is how many do you want, this is in the script, you can see. Well, this is what mai is. You can go over it and see what it means. Examples are kitte yomai onegai shimasu. Please give me four stamps. Kami sammai onegai shimasu. Please give me three sheets of paper. That is how you count flat objects. And now we can practice. Let us see what it is. Ichimai, ni mai. You can repeat after me. Sam mai, yom mai, go mai, roku mai, nana mai, hachi mai, kyu mai, ju mai, and nam mai. Nam mai is for how many CDs or sheets or flat objects. Let us see what we have here. Well, there are some envelopes. So, let us see how many they are. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. So, you will notice that after the number mai is used. It is easy to remember, you just need to know your numbers and use mai for flat things. Hagaki wa nan mai arimasu ka? Hagaki is postcards, though this also looks like envelopes. So, well, whichever. Hagaki wa nan mai arimasu ka? Ju mai desu. We have another picture for you. You have CDs over here. Let us see how many. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, ju, ichi. So, let us see. CD wa nan mai arimasu ka? Ju, ichi mai desu. We have another picture which is e hagaki. Hagaki you already know is postcard. This is picture postcard. So, well. E hagaki wa nan mai desu ka? Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. So, again we have go mai desu. You can use this over here. You can use arimas as well. Go mai arimas or go mai desu. Well, we have another picture of lot of shirts and some undergarments over here, which is shitagi. So, well, shatsu to shitagi wa nan mai desu ka? Shats and shitagi. Undershirt wa nan mai desu ka? Well, ju ni mai desu. You can practice like this. Take some objects in your hand. 
ask your partner or your partner could ask you and you could answer and practice like this. Now, in the beginning, in the conversation, right in the beginning, there was kochira. You have done kore series, kono series and koko series. Kore sore are dore which means this kono sono ano dono means this one over here and koko is for direction. Basically kore is for things, kono is for things and for people and koko is for direction. Well, now this is another series kochira, sochira, achira and dochira. Now, this is similar, but kochira, sochira and achira and dochira tell you about place, about location of a certain person or thing and it is polite. So, well you can you can practice as was given in the conversation kochira wa rao san desu, kochira wa arun san desu. This person over here is rao. So, you can practice like this instead of saying kono hito wa rao san desu, kochira wa rao san desu. This is more polite. Now, let us see what expression we have over here. Well, you see some people here and this gentleman pulling at a rope and there was this expression in the conversation where Tanaka san says gambatte kudasai. Gambatte kudasai means well work hard and as he was studying well study very very hard. Over here he is pulling it is a sport game. So, well they are cheering him up and saying gambare, gambare, gambare means come on pull harder in this case. Gambare can be used in a lot of other ways. This is simple cheering someone up and then the same expression could also be used in a situation like this where Rao san or Tanaka san as our friend is studying very hard and again his parents come and say Taro kun ashita shikenaru kara gambatte ne work very hard study very hard because you have a test tomorrow. So, just to boost someone up you would say gambare or gambatte kudasai for polite. So, well this is a nice expression to cheer someone up to boost someone up you would say gambatte kudasai. Well, as we always do katakana, we will do katakana now. This is the na series, simple. This is for you to learn the stroke order. It is given very nicely. You can see it again and again and practice at home. Hai na ni. See this one is small and this one is a little longer. Nu. ne and then no and it starts from here from top you have to see that. Please remember the stroke order you cannot write no from here. Please remember na, ni, nu, ne and no. You have it all in front of you and you can practice. Now, today you have these two kanji characters. You know the words with these kanji characters. You have done my just now and we will just practice the first one which is kami which means paper. One, two, three, four, 5 and 6, 7, 
8, 9 and 10. So, it is a 10 stroke character. Gummy and what is the word? We will do the word as well over here. We will do the second character which is my. We will do my which is 1. You make a key like this. You make one like this and it is an 8 stroke character. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. My, my. Tegami. Tegami. Well, the words that you have done with gummy is te gummy. The word is te gummy as is given over here. Just put te over here and it becomes te gummy meaning letter. And now my, how many? My we did just now, none of course is. We have done none over here earlier, none, none, num, my. So, that is the word, try to remember it with the word and as we go ahead actually kanjis will become a little complicated and also I will be doing kanjis separately properly. These are just kanjis which are coming in the lesson, the words you have done and thus we take up these characters. Now, just look at this proverb and I hope I am not doing what is written over here. I hope that you all are learning a lot of things through these classes. The proverb says something which is very interesting, uma no mimi ni nembutsu, which you can see over here. It is written very clearly, a Buddhist prayer to a horse to preach in the wilderness. I hope I am not doing that. These classes are helping you. and. You all are learning something new every day, are able to use it in conversation and are practicing a lot at home. So, well, you have to remember this kotovaza and whenever you are practicing, well, remember me, I hope I am not doing this. It is all helping you. Well, there are, there are a lot of things in Japanese that I would like to share with you. A lot about culture. I try to tell you different things in, in class over here. We do different things. We take up festivals. We talk about culture, what is done in Japan, what is famous about Japan. Well, today something I want to tell you about the language. In English, we use the word you very um, commonly and uh, the word you, the pronoun you is used for anyone. It could be for someone who is older to you, it could be for someone who is younger to you, that besides you is used. So, well in Japanese of course, the equivalent is anata, but one thing we have to remember is that anata is not used so freely in Japan. Even though we practice anata over here in class, when we are using you in our minds, we always say anata. But in Japanese, please remember that always you have to use the miyoji or the surname or the given name of the person and not address anyone as anata. Anata over here in class is all right, for practice is all right, for knowing that you is anata in Japanese is all right, but not using it so freely in the language and especially to people who are older to you in rank, in age, in position, you will try not to use anata. Another interesting thing that we do in English is 
Hello, how are you? We use this phrase very freely in English. Anytime you meet someone on the road or anywhere, hello, how are you? So well, fine, thank you. But there is a phrase like this in Japanese, oh, ogenki desu ka, which also means how are you? Hello, how are you? Konnichiwa, ogenki desu ka, meaning hello, how are you? But it is a little different from the hello, how are you of English because over here genki desu ka also means are you in good health? I hope you are in good health. How are you doing? So, if you are meeting someone every day, if, if you are meeting in the morning, in the afternoon, you could just say hello all the time or konnichiwa which is hello all the time, but using ogenki desu ka all the time is a little odd because if you meet that person every day, you meet that person regularly, you know that he is in good health. So, please when you are using this phrase ogenki desu ka, be very sure when and where and how you are using it. Like you can see over here, you have this, this gentleman, they meet on the road, this person is eating ice cream and he is taking his dog for a walk and konnichiwa is the general expression that you would use, konnichiwa and he also says konnichiwa and then this gentleman, probably Rao san and not a Japanese says ogenki desu ka and he is completely dazed because they are meeting almost every day and he is dazed and he does not know what to say. The reason being that that is not done all the time. You are not to ask people you meet every day or in office, in school or while going for shopping, you will not ask ogenki desu ka all the time. Please remember those two things, they are very very important. Also in, in English, you say good morning to everybody. Well, the reason you would generally not say good morning or hello in Japanese all the time would be because in Japanese when you say hello or good morning, you generally bow, you generally stand in a place and then you sort of bend, which is not the case in English. It is very, very casual. You would just raise your hands and say hello, how are you or good morning and in Japanese it is a little different. Thus, all the time you would not say hello or ohayo gozaimasu or konnichiwa. You have to stand and do it. So, one has to be very, very careful. Now, we have vocabulary over here. Shitagi, the meanings are given. Hagaki, futo, eyameru, kanabo, uma, nembutsu, shukan, Ehagaki, kami, hashiru, shokki. So, we have this vocabulary for you. You can practice it at home. And now the class is over, your work begins, you have lot of lot of shukudai, number of assignments, what we have done in class. Well, how do you count stamps for one? picture is here, there are lot of things in the picture, you can count those things and tell, tick the correct word in the brackets, then you have your kanji practice and you need to pick out the correct particle from the brackets, then make good sentences and well, I think that would do for today. There is lot of work for you, you have to go over the lesson, you have to do your, your uh, assignments, practice, practice with your partner, do your conversation and well we will meet again soon, do something new again in our next class. Till then, minasan mata ashita aimashou, arigatou gozaimasu, thank you.